and knew what the federal government of Nigeria and through the Ministry of Education has reiterated the necessity of data in fostering gender equality and the provision of quality education to young ones in the country. The Minister of State for Education, Good Luck Nanaopia, made this known in Abuja a moment ago at the National Dialogue in Education Issues in Nigeria. Amadine Ogbere was there and has more for you. The National Dialogue on Education Issues in Nigeria, organized by the Ministry of Education and Knowledge and Innovation Exchange, Kicks Africa 19 Hub, held in Abuja on Tuesday. In his remarks at the dialogue, the Minister of State for Education, Good Luck Nana Opaya, addressed various ways the government was addressing the main subject of discourse, achieving gender equality in education. The choice of the team for this National Dialogue Meeting the data challenge in education, achieving gender quality in and through education and leaving no one behind gives me great comfort that this initiative is going to achieve its set of objectives. As a continent, we need to embrace the use of data in guiding all our decisions. It is often said that data is to learning what oxygen is to living. If we can successfully abridge the data gaps in Nigeria, we will have provided the basic fundamentals for resolving some many issues. Creatable, timely, and reliable data generation is required for qualitative planning and decision making. The Permanent Secretary of the Ministry, Mr. David Adejo, represented by Folake Olatunji, stated that human capital development wouldn't be achieved without necessary gender equality. We are therefore gathered here today to continue and to expand the discussions on finding solutions to very critical issues in education in Nigeria. The themes meeting the data challenge in education achieving gender equal equality in and through education and leaving no one behind are not necessary, not only necessary, but critical if you want to achieve qualitative, effective, and functional education delivery. By extension, a very necessary condition for sustainable national development. While delivering his paper, the director Iqba Addis Ababa, Dr. Quentin Warden, broke down the adverse effects of gender inequity, child marriage, and wealth generation. If you were reducing the gender inequality right, in wealth, you would increase human capital wealth, women would make more, right, and then you would increase total wealth. But there is a second impact that matters as well, and I'll discuss that in a bit more detail. It is the fact that if you empower women, if you make girls finish secondary school, if you reduce child marriage, if you reduce early childbearing, that reduction also in gender inequality is going to reduce the fertility rate, and that is re going to reduce the population growth, and that is going to make your national wealth per capita go up. Right? As data has been touted as a means to ensuring gender equality, harmful practices against women and the girl child, which discourage education and growth, have been kicked against to ensure national development. Ahmad Dinobewe, reporting for Kaftan Television.